come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for no, tuning in. Just the ladies. Hey ladies. <laughs> hey ladies. This Hello. is ladies. This Hello for you. ladies. Oh, this one goes out to all the ladies out there. <laughs> the ladies. Uh, thank you for tuning Can in. Can I to... buy you a fish sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> well, who could resist that offer? <laughs> I mean, seriously. Fish sandwich. Wow, that's uh, you know, fancy. Uh no, it's not. I'm, I'm not. I got my well, kebabs right here. When, yeah. Uh, Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I have no idea. Ladies so, man. It's a ladies. Oh, ladies right, man. Right, right, right. Ooh, it's a lady. <laughs> so this is the Saturday Night Freak Show <laughs> podcast that you stumbled onto. We yeah, usually did. talk about movies when we're not talking about fish sandwich and romance and the ladies. Uh, you can find True. us. Well, you already found us. Please do us a favor. Head on over to wherever you looked us up and uh, give us a like star rating. Please hit the subscribe button. All of that stuff helps us become uh you know, internet radio superstars, mm. yes. which is what we're after in That's their right. total world domination. Who are stardom. these internet radio superstars? Sean. Holly. And I'm Colin. We're down one tonight. We are. Michaela is, is uh, MIA. On assignment. And yes. uh, we look forward on. to her report. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on next week's back. episode. Sean, you clear who next I week is? I got it. Okay. I got uh, it. I'm just going to yeah. check. Who are you? Right. Okay. Um, yeah, I got so, it. Too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you have it? I have it. Okay, got it. Good. Yeah. I'm Holly good. Should have it. I'm There's good. There's a lot of shouting that's going to come later. Uh, <laughs> if this is your first time joining us, please stick around. Uh, what we're going to do? We're going to talk about tonight's movie for a little while. Then we'll uh, read some of your mail, and then uh, we'll come back at the end and, and review the movie. You want to know what we watched tonight, Colin? Colin, what did we watch tonight? Tell I'm going to tell you, Sean. Tell us. Holly. Please. Tonight we watched uh, The to Sentinel. Oh. The Sentinel. Is the movie. From the what Sentinel. year? Yeah. 1977. Makes sense. Directed by. Michael Winner. What else? Do, do we know Michael Winner from anything? Yeah, you know him from uh, Death Wish. Oh, really? Yeah, he was Death Wish guy. Okay. I'm trying to think, like, because he, he must have done something else. And I'm sorry, listener, I come unprepared. I mean, I remember Michael Winner from Death Wish. I remember him from uh, the Philip Marlowe adaptation of The Big Sleep with uh, Robert oh, Mitchum. Okay. Yes. There, were, there were two Robert Mitchum full, Philip Marlowe's. Okay. There's Farewell, oh. My Lovely, mm -hmm. which also stars uh, Sylvia Miles, who's in tonight's movie. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was yeah. that was like a 1940s, you know, or 30s detective movie. Mm -hmm. Nice. But The Big Sleep, the Michael Winter one. He moved it to England in the 70s, and mm -hmm. it's really weird because, like, it should be in the 40s. Um, yeah, but remember. he also did, I think, later career subsequent Death Wish movies, which okay. I haven't seen, but okay. I'm pretty sure he may have done not all of them, but I think the wildest one, which I hear is Death Wish 3. Yeah, 3. Mm. Which I have not seen, but that's a Michael Winter film. That's a wild one. I'm surprised. Apparently so. When, does, when do you scratch that itch, Colin? Because you have, you get itches. And I'm yeah. surprised you haven't gotten the Death Witch. Death Wish itch. The I, Death Witch. I did, the Death Witch. <laughs> I did get it. I watched And the, you watched one movie. <laughs> well, I had seen the original a while ago, and then I watched it again recently, and then it was like, well, and that was I it? keep going. See, I'm not like it feels you, like Sean. you should. Sean gets in. He, Sean goes all the way with these things. I do. I recently got an itch. For? That I'm going to need to scratch. Blair Witch. Oh. Well, there's only like three of those. I know, but I, the one movie I don't like. Or I didn't like, and I've only watched once. Blair Witch, the sequel that came out like uh, three, four years ago. Yeah. I got an itch to watch that again. Really? Yes. And not to just watch you it, but poor, I want to watch it. I want to watch bastard. the. I've never seen the behind the scenes. I've never listened to the commentary, which because is Because it was been terrible. A, right. Because, but, I, but it was terrible. Yeah. Uh, but I also want to listen to the commentary, which was in a, uh, um, uh, a deviation from what I think happens with most commentaries, mm -hmm. which are recorded before the movie comes out. That commentary was recorded after the movie came out, and they kind of talk about all the criticisms <laughs> of the movie in the commentary, and they're pretty savage about it, okay. and which which is why I have that interest in it. And somebody, there was- All right, I'll give you that. There yeah. were articles today, I'm pretty sure Blood did Disgusting uh, released something today, um, or somebody did, uh, who was like, why Blair Witch is uh, an exceptional yeah. gem? Oh, no. And I'm just like, fuck oh, you. No. I'm going to read your article. Yeah. <laughs> I read it, and I'm still like, fuck you. But it also, I'm just like, all right, I know I still don't like this movie, yeah. but 
I need to know everything about it to keep continuing to dislike it because I don't think my mind is going to be changed, but I want to, I want, to re- I want that all, all that information. You need to reaffirm it's your hatred. Sickness. It is yeah. a sickness. <laughs> I need reaffirmation of my hatred. Of well, it. see, this is kind of, I mean, Ugh. I suppose we kind of do that too. You know, we, we, do. we look at movies from the past that have maybe been misaligned or in yeah. the, the case oh, of, of the Sentinel, they were critically panned. Yeah. When was this critically up. panned? Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. This was hated across wow. universally across the board. Wow. Uh, somebody called it the worst movie. I think it was Variety. No, Robin Wood, the critic, has said it was the worst movie of 1977. <laughs> uh, the least uh, progressive. Many- <laughs> it was offensive. Like, all that. Yeah. Was- I wonder how many times we've watched a movie that was, like, considered the worst of this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That with Carnosaur. Yeah. Oh God! Which was declared. Well, you didn't know yeah. that coming into the Sentinel that it was. No, the worst I did not. Of, uh, I had yeah. no idea that somebody declared this the worst movie and that it was panned across the board. Mm-hmm. I am surprised. So now we so, get to be bloody yeah. disgusting and reappraise. Well, the like, at, at what point it. did people start loving this movie? Because clearly, did, it's, people, did clear, people start loving? Clearly, this movie it's at some point? become a cult classic because I have heard about this movie. Have and you? We I posted, have, and we posted about it. I had never heard about this movie, but we posted about it. Let me, we yeah. Let me, it. let me specify. I don't. I didn't know anything about it. I knew nothing. But about I had this heard movie. of it. Coming so into the title, yes. I had never yes. heard of it. Is it Vin Diesel's in the Sentinel from like the nineties <laughs> yes. or something like that? Right. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. No. Show. Yes. Uh, so that's yes. why I'm like, listener, when you're looking this up, you know, you want to hit 1977, not yes. 19 whatever the hell it was when wait uh, 2000s when, when I think it was wasn't the, that the thing for last week's though. Oh, Strays. Strays was also Strays. a Vin Diesel movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, written and directed by. All right, you're gonna have to so, look this up. Is it is it Vin Diesel? Vin this, Diesel, yes. yeah, written but, and directed by Vin Diesel, a movie called Strays. Yes. Yeah, but find so, out if the Sentinels a uh, Vin Diesel movie. Yeah. Maybe I'm maybe. Or, it's, are you, not or the is Rock? It's, it's not Steven Seagal, is it? No. All right, well, I don't think so. Gonna, okay. I'm gonna look this up. So just assume, dear Brailler, that every movie we see, there is dear a Vin Brailler. Diesel counterpart. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. If or at that least, I think we're getting into the point where there is at least a counterpart that has the same title. I yeah. think so. Like, like, I think there's so. There's only so many titles. Yeah. yeah. You know, okay. Holly, what's a Sentinel? What's a Sentinel? Uh, like apparently, it's Michael this? Douglas, Kiefer Sutherland, and Kim Basinger in 2006. Oh, I remember oh, that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't remember that I one. do remember that. I yeah. I, but that's, I think that's the only other Sentinel. Okay, so maybe that's the one I'm thinking of. I think so. Last week. Then I'm getting them confused. The, the Sentinel the strays and the, no. is a, a sort of is a, a guardian, if you will. There you go. A guardian. A watcher. A watcher. A watchful protector. A yeah. dark knight. <laughs> that's why you have sentry, uh, you know, cameras. Guns. Sentinels. That's why they're uh, they're X Men's greatest foe. Right. Yeah. Sentinels. Mm. Watch. That's right. They're watching for the X Men. Yeah. All right. So this movie's based on a novel that came out in 1974 by a guy by oh. the name of I'm sorry. Look it up. Uh, his name is Jeffrey Convitz. Yes. Uh, Jeffrey Convitz turns out became a film producer after his writing career. I don't hmm. know what the hell what it happened to it, but uh, did he produce like, this? No. Okay. No, but, but I mean, like, if you can move from like writing writing books to producing movies, yeah, do your thing. That's a good move. Yeah, do you your like thing. Produce Bloodsport too. That's still a good okay. move. Go yeah. go. Yeah, I would do that move. <laughs> I was writing I, books. I'm just like, you want to produce a movie? What is it? Bloodsport two. Yes. Bloodsport two. Fine. Obviously. I would be all for that. I'd be all for that. Especially in like the fucking 80s. Just yeah. Like, I mean, what's the I cocaine the budget 90s. on this movie? Yeah. Do we get a lot of cocaine. Yeah, I think he's still I'm working. In. Yeah. But there's still there is a sequel to this movie. Or not this, the movie, but the novel called The Guardian, but we'll have to talk about that later. In just in book form? Yeah. Okay. okay. I think it was supposed the to be part of a, a trilogy. Doesn't Apocalypse that mean was supposed the to be same thing, basically? Yes, yes it does. Th- okay. And then there's a third one called The Watcher. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, With Corey Haim. <laughs> no. So, well, one of the things about this movie. That's... I'm sorry. I totally just had a picture of what that movie would be like. Uh, yeah. uh, all it's, the hair. It's, it's a lot of hair. Corey in and it's a comedy. And it's a comedy. <laughs> And Corey Feldman shows up for one scene. For one scene. One scene. When it was, uh, yeah. Um, but this movie, I suppose, I mean, this is like a, it's a, it, this is a legitimate movie from the 70s. Yeah, it this is. This is a universal legi- studio I was going to say, by film. legitimate, you mean, so like a, a studio film. A studio film. Okay. And it has a galaxy of a supporting lot of celebs. Holy shit. Now, granted, granted, at this time, like to us, they're celebs, but at this time, like, I don't think people would be super excited about some of these people. Right. But now we Eli are. Eli Wallach. 
Well, no, no, Watts, yes, but, he but has I a mean, major like, role. I mean, like, you know, Jeff Goldblum, Goldblum before he was really right. Jeff Goldblum or Christopher and, Walken, and you wouldn't even or, know because he's fucking dubbed in this he's, movie. It's not Goldblum. Uh, dubbed Jeff Goldblum's Goldblum. dubbed. Yeah, it is not they Goldblum. Goldblum. It's not. It's not Goldblum. I know it's weird. It, it looks, I couldn't tell it if looks they like him, but it's not him. Had they slowed his voice down? Was that him, or was it uh, like a it, dub? It was. It's close. I'll tell you that because it's it's slightly, but he doesn't have the. Uh, there's a quickness to Goldblum that is not a not in that dub. Yeah, but voice. if you slowed him down, would he sound like the guy? Maybe. In the yes. Maybe. It's just. It's but weird. But also, weird. I feel like he would have more. Pause. It's very weird. Yeah. But also, he's not even like got his Goldblum mannerisms. No, like, he he's doesn't. Not he's, him at he's, all. he's more like he's a young. normal guy. This, well, he yeah. was in. Uh, he's not a sexual. <laughs> he's in Death Wish. And <laughs> yeah. I think that he's one he? of the uh, the thugs. That yeah. Oh. In oh. Death Wish, so Michael Winner, you know, cast him. You keep, okay. I, I'm, I'm convinced now that I haven't actually seen Death Wish. It's an okay I don't movie. Think I don't I've think seen I've seen Death Wish. I don't think I've seen it. I don't think yeah. I've seen it. Watching it again, I don't know if I should, like, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I prefer the remake. Like okay. The, over the first one. Right. Like the Kevin Bacon death uh, sentence? Yeah. Or a, well, that, that's pretty good. That's from the same author, I guess, who wrote the book. Death Colin, sentence. it's okay to like a remake. It is. It really is. Yeah, I know, but like, I'm a Especially purist. if it's better. I if like it's better. You don't, okay, you don't have to be a purist just for purists. If, it's a, like, if it's, it's a better movie, it's a better movie. I think it's a better movie. movie. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, what the... Uh, wait, the Bruce the, Willis one. The Bruce Willis one? Yeah, the Eli Roth, Bruce Willis. All right, now I'm judging you. Have you seen it? No. Why, Colin? What in those trailers or anything they released would... Want would attract me to that movie, but warrants a viewing. Uh, it's got Bruce Willis in it. He's a star. no, not every Bruce Willis <laughs> is not going to draw. Since what the uh, the what's the movie where they had the Die Hard. Re- replacements uh, or whatever that uh, fucking movie was? Replacements? No, it was like no. it's not Passengers. It was uh, the the surrogates. The surrogates. Yeah. Since, oh. since that, you know what? I put that as a milestone. Since that movie, what has drawn you to a Bruce Willis movie besides Looper? I still watch Bruce Willis movies. I mean, I might too. Okay, there it is. <laughs> but never like one of the direct-to-video ones. Right. No. But just Death never Wish was a theatrical film. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Is that his last theatrical? Well, he was in G.I. Joe Retaliation, that for God's sake. That was way before uh, Death Wish. Death Wish. Not that long before. Way. That's a good couple of years. I like the way that like two years has become like 10. It's 10 not two years. What, for G.I. Joe Retaliation? Not the first one, the second one. Yeah, G.I. Joe Retaliation to Death Wish? That's like six years. Still, <laughs> that's a huge amount of time, right? We're doing like in, All right, in film, okay. that's, a, that's a large <laughs> amount of time. You can, you can be a star and drop to the fucking ground in that amount true. of time. Yeah. We're talking I'm about, sorry, Jennifer Lawrence? Yeah. What? Yeah. Where's yeah. she? Where's huh? she? I What's saw Red she Sparrow. Doing? That was like X-Men. Last time. Oh, X-Men. Yeah, right. she was in it. fucking Phoenix. She's yeah. dying yeah. in X-Men? Yeah. Whoa! Spoiler alert! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You no one, oh, no one gives a shit about spoilers mm. for Dark Phoenix. No, they don't. That movie sucked ass. Did you watch it? I saw it. Yeah. Why? I had to take my brother. Okay, you took your brother. Because I get into movies for free. Your brother. So I have to take uh, people. At fault for many of your viewings. It he seems. is. Yeah. Okay. Well, plus if you're, you know, you're in the series or whatever. Okay, the Sentinel. Right, that's true. Yeah. What's this movie about? Somebody tell me. Help me out. Where do we? Where do we start? We start in Italy for Why? some reason. We start in for Italy because this, this is an Italian fucking movie. I can tell by the dubbing, Colin. <laughs> it is not an Italian movie, It's Sean. all dubbed. It reeks it's of Italianisms. Dubbed. It really does. You're talking Besides, about just the opening or the whole movie? Uh, I mean, the whole a lot movie of dubbing. has a feel. There's a dubbing throughout the movie. There is a uh, feel. When we get to our main character, Chris crazy. Sarandon, Chris Sarandon, and who's our main uh, actress? Christina Raines. Christina Raines. Where do we Raines. know her from? Yeah, she uh, looks familiar. Okay, so the normies know her from like Nashville, but... We know her from Nightmares, right? The yeah. 80s anthology movie with uh, Emilio Estevez. Never saw it. That's the one where he has to fight the arcade game. Oh! Yeah. Sounds familiar. She was in the first segment. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I've seen her before because she looks very familiar. And she's a very... She um, has an something about her face. She There's has something a very, about her that's very attractive. She has attractive. a very 70s Makes me want to watch look. her. Yes. She has, like I a Karen like Carpenter lots. kind yes. of thing. Yes. Yes. Yeah. She looks like a 70s model. Yes. Yeah, she like, does. Where I feel like there's at least 30 other women from the 70s that I'm like, that looks just like her. Yeah. You know. But she has like uh, the thing, the quality that she had that I'm like, oh, this is why they got her. Because at the beginning with makeup, she looks beautiful. Yeah. And as the movie goes on, you change the makeup. She looks sickly and she looks like she needs some help. That's I think that's yeah. every model, though. Because yeah. every single fashion model is on a hairline of being beautiful to looking like, holy shit, what, are you okay? Yeah. yeah. Because, yeah. It's, yeah. and it's makeup, because they're all, the features they have. I mean, really, that's almost every woman in Hollywood. 
because that might be because because we get uh, well because we get we get used uh, to seeing man as well. We get used to seeing everyone in makeup and highly right. done up, and that's then very true. when we see them without, we're like, oh god, that's very you true. You know, mm-hmm. like it's different than regular people. That's very true. You know, yeah, you hear that Hollywood people. Uh, so. I'm just saying. No, I'm not saying it's right. I'm saying that's how. That's what we have to deal with. Right. It's not right. Well, the Sentinel. So it starts off in Italy because the Exorcist was a big hit, and the Exorcist started in Iraq. So we have to start our uh, right. religious themed horror uh-huh. film in, it, right. in a foreign country where sure. religion came from. Right. Where so you have goats running across the country. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I always love that. Like the the seventies were able goats. to do that better than the modern movies do. To me, the feel that like oh we actually went there and right that's because they everybody... got the goats right right it, it is because everyone yeah. got rid of goats yeah they just introduced you to a foreign uh, yeah. country and yeah, there's no. no wildlife running around yeah. directly yeah, those sure. 70s ones they're like damn it we're yeah. gonna have no, people no you goats. can I you need... could fucking you could right. fucking shoot a scene right here in rockford as long as you've got a goat in an got... archway yeah that can be italy yeah yeah that's it that's all you need of course we don't have the crumbling archways but it's, uh, it's rockford we will you sure we will find an archway we can find one we'll find an archway we still got time. Well, I know I saw a movie that was shot in New York that it was called I Sell the Dead, and it mm-hmm. looks like a, like an English gothic uh, hammer movie. Yeah, you find the right, the right spot. the right spot. There's that spot exists in most cities. Yeah, yeah. just gotta find it and shoot it from the right angle. Yeah, and add goats. Well, this movie starts in Italy with uh, the Monsignor, right? It's Jose Ferrar, and yeah. it's like one of two scenes. Every, all these star-studded people that we're gonna mention, they have like they have two scenes, two or three movie. scenes. That's it. <laughs> Uh, so Jose Farrar is in it, and he basically ad- brings a group of uh, 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 priests together and says that there's a holy terror coming and we have to be vigilant or something to this effect, yes. which I never understand. Like, I mean, knowing where the movie goes, why didn't the scene take place in New York City? I don't know. You know, what's the... Uh, yeah, why the- isn't it at the New York Archdiocese? Like, it doesn't- I think this is the uh, most, uh, this is the locale all these people could get to. And they spread yeah. out, and they spread out from there. The conclave of uh, I think so. The Roman Catholic like, this Church. Is where, this is where everyone was able to get to. I mean, yeah. I mean, are we supposed? Are we supposed to believe that this is like some subsect of the Vatican? Is that what we're supposed to believe? I feel like maybe it's a secret group. Is this officially sanctioned church? Well, it must no, be. I guess, no, I mean, no, because no, no, no. that's that's how you make it an no, official. The Vatican ca- knows, but it's like plausible deniability where they just like I. I don't want to know what happens, right. but deal with it. Because that's yeah. typically how you make it like an official Catholic thing is like, oh, the Vatican's involved. Yeah. Right. So yeah. I think like they like the know it, it's, it's there. Like a, it's a secret thing, but it's probably the most important thing in the Catholic. I church. think like, so. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. We're going to stop evil from coming in. So, uh, yeah. yeah. So it's the most important. It's just like a, just like a standard Thursday staff meeting. All right. right. Well, the gateway mm-hmm. to hell. That's uh, what we're talking yeah. about right. today. We have uh, a changing of the guard at the gateway to hell. Uh, <laughs> so we need a new sentinel. Do yeah. we have any? Do we have there, anyone? Are any do we have anyone in mind? out there? First of all, and Dave, do you, know you, anybody? you mentioned it. You had a friend, a cousin, right? Yeah, yeah. He yeah. was interested. Yeah, like, is, is he like? Because it's a lot of years just sitting there. I want this casual meeting. I want this. <laughs> well, this movie it, it brings up some questions and like how exactly? Because these are things that aren't answered in the film. The no. questions yeah. that I had was like, well, how are they choosing? So basically, yeah. John Carradine, right? Yes. Classic actor. Yeah. I think he was what? He was in was he in the Wolfman? He's in uh he's Dracula, right? In the sure. old thirties movies. He's in the Howling. You gotta see. Uh, the Howling, yes. Yeah. So he is this old blind priest who occupies the top floor of mm-hmm. this uh New York brownstone apartment. Mm-hmm. Right. And so he is the guardian, the sentinel. The sentinel. Who's the watching sentinel. over yes, the, the gate to hell, which exists in New York City. Okay, that I can believe. They always yeah. exist in New York City because New York City is sinful. But not always, because sometimes they're <laughs> in always. Louisiana, as in The Beyond, which is a movie, an Italian True. movie, Lucio Fulci, which clearly saw this movie. I would say so. Yeah, okay. No guard there, but, you know, the idea that uh, there is a place on Earth somehow sure. where... No, there are definitely portals to hell. Yeah. Existing. One of the seven gateways. I think they all exist in the United States, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Like, that's, they're just like, this is easy mm. opening. They do in the movies. The ninth gate would disagree with you. It's in We're, Europe. Is yeah. it in Europe? It's, okay. in, it's in Europe. Yeah. Well, I'm is trying the 13th gate? Just the ninth gate. Oh, the, the, the ninth, ninth gate, gate. Yeah. The, uh, the, to the kingdom of hell, or the yeah. seven the kingdoms. Ninth, the ninth gate to hell, yeah. Yeah. 
Um, I enjoy that movie more than I probably should. It's a See, Depp that's movie. It's a Johnny okay, Depp movie. Yeah, yeah. That's where you got Dario Argento and the Three Mothers. Then you're in three. Right. You're in Germany, Italy, and America. Right. But yeah, the Lucio Fulci movies, The Gateway to Hell, is like in Salem and uh, Louisiana. I don't know. It's like uh, well, so that'd be your well, but that, yeah, but both of the, voodoo. I was like, like both that, of those make sense. sense. Yeah. Yeah. Both of those make sense. Right. Yeah. There's already that like. There's already that yeah. aura of it. Let's just open it up and uh, you know stick some yeah. devil shit yeah. in there. Yeah. I like it. It's not that hard to just like wedge yourself in there and be like, we're gonna, we're gonna go for it. So there is somewhere a doorway in this movie. Doorway. I like the way that it's uh, it actually does have the abandon all hope ye who enter here. It really the does. Slack. Bravo. On the on the doorway or Bravo. in the I, in the I, hotel. I always thought that was a pirate saying. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Oh dear, because God. it was. A- <laughs> <laughs> oh no, yeah. Okay. No, I, I take did. it back. You never went to Sunday school. Sean's That's just like, oh, this oh, is I a never, pirate movie. I never paid attention at Sunday school. Oh, okay, there you go. Did not care. We I were don't always, think I ever learned that in Sunday school. But somewhere you we hear about Paradise Lost and John Milton and all that. No, that's where that sure. Came from. Um, My extent is uh, seven. Is that also the oh, as yeah. above, so below? Where does that come from? Wait, what? As above, so below. Uh, is that a biblical mm, thing? Or is that, uh, I don't also know. I'm very, I'm bad at the biblical or stuff. Or Dante. Uh, yeah. Yeah, da- yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're getting into heavy religious shit is no, what we're yeah. talking yeah. about. The Roman, we only know the surface level shit about it, yeah. uh, Which was prevalent in a, the 1970s. I'm a bad former Catholic. <laughs> well, there's this whole thing, like, you know, as I was sitting there watching this movie, this movie I don't think would have existed without the success of Rosemary's Baby. Ah, uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Which that was okay. one year. Uh, that was 70, oh, 70, 74? No, no, no. The- had to be before, right? No, Exorcist was, oh, that was 68. 68. It yeah, had to so be. I'm, and I'm basing yeah, this yeah, off yeah. of Once Upon a Time, time in Hollywood. Hollywood because that's, that's 68. <laughs> that's 69, and they're all talking about it. So. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. So the and then Omen was seventy six, right? So mm-hmm. this is uh, continue, but uh, like I'm like The Shining in eighty comes out of this like mentality, right? This is yeah, essentially, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, the supernatural thriller that takes place in a location yeah. which has some kind of religious significance, uh, either demonic right. presence or ghostly thing happening in it. Yeah. Um, our main character is a model. This What's is Christina Rains in this Allison. Allison? Parker. Parker. Okay. The character, okay. Allison Parker. Allison Parker. She is uh, riding on top of the world when we first meet she's her. She's doing yeah, good. She's, she's on the great. cover of every major yeah. magazine. She's like, flipping she's her hair around great. on TV. Like, <laughs> she <laughs> is. She's yeah. like, is she your hair, commercial. what was the quote? Is Lustrous your... and not fucked with? Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. The they, she stars in commercials. They lustrous. said it like four times. I'm surprised yeah. we don't yeah, remember. Yeah, It's lustrous and something. All right, so this is the the first thing where I'm like, okay, so what's going on here? She is uh, dating Chris Sarandon. Yes, yep. we haven't mentioned mustache. that yet. Yeah. No, she's dating his mustache. She's dating. Oh god, <laughs> she's, uh, she's, she's riding. Dating. She's riding that mustache. She is. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> mustache <laughs> ride? How many times have you seen Chris Sarandon play like a good guy in a in a, in a movie? A good guy. Once. Yeah. What was it? This movie. Was he good in this? Until he until the end where he's replaced <laughs> with the bad guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. I mean, he's basically. No, I know he's a good yeah. guy. He's a good guy. He's not movie. the 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 villain. The, the you know, I know. I don't. The resurrection. I don't he's think not, I've. He's not uh, a good guy. But he has. There is like the good side of him. Sure, there yeah, is. But then he ends up. It's just not. But good. he's not typically a good guy. No. Yeah. I think he's like a rapist in a movie called Lipstick with uh, Jesus. M- not who's Yikes. Mariel Hemingway's sister. Elon Margot. Margot. Margot Hemingway. Margot yeah. Hemingway. Yeah. No, wait, yes, wait, wait. Which one's the older one? Don't know. Okay, I well, know there's a Margot Hemingway. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, but I think that came out maybe before this movie. Oh really? So it might have been just like never really. Like he a, was Jesus, I think, he's in a, a movie. Good guy in child. Chris Sarandon. The day Christ died. It might have what? been a TV movie. Why is I this coming that. back to I me? I believe that. I believe <laughs> Chris that. Sarandon has played Jesus. I believe that. That was he just looks a flash like Jesus. that just showed up in my he head. Also, he was in Child's Play. He's a good guy in right. Child's Play. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Okay, yes. thank he's, you very much. I am way off. <laughs> <laughs> right. We could have gone that before Jesus, but let's find out about Jesus. Yeah. Um, While we're at it, <laughs> just to make sure. <laughs> oh, uh, if we're counting voice acting, Jack Skellington is not a bad guy. That's right. That's also he's true. Jack Skellington? Yeah. Chris Sarandon is Jack he's Skellington. How do you not voice. know this? All right, I'm going to... Danny Elfman's I'm, I'm Have you it. never seen The Nightmare Before guys. Christmas? I have never seen The Nightmare Before Christmas. Shut <laughs> up! What? I've never seen it. Oh, it's never delightful. Once, never once seen it. He's the. He's Jack Skellington? He's Jack Skellington! Holy shit! Yeah. 
That's not that's the singing great. voice. The singing voice is Danny Elfman. That's yeah. fine. I don't give a shit. But, but he's Jack Skellington. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Oh, I want to see that now. Well, there you go. This Halloween. I did not know Chris Sarandon was Jack Skellington. Yes. That's fucking awesome. So, wow. uh, so here's the thing that's going on with their relationship at the beginning of this movie. They live together, mm-hmm. and she wants to move out. She does. She wants her own apartment. Yeah, this is like in. She the, wants to like now. Now, I understand this move, but she wants to like be able to like figure her own shit out and be herself and take care of herself, because it's as it's revealed later in the movie, she doesn't want to not have anywhere to go, as her that? mother said, because her mother. Stuck yeah. with her father because she had nowhere else to she go. Wants and to her be father indi- was yeah. not a good dude. She wants to be independent because yes. she's afraid she'll turn out like her mom. She wants to be able to go off on her own if yeah. she needs to because her mother was not able to yeah. because her father was a bad dude. And what are you talking trapped. about, John? He had sex with... M- <laughs> he had... He had a he had a cake yeah, he, had a, he had a cake orgy. It's cake cake orgies, cake Colin. Orgy. See, this is this is the moment. This was disturbing to me, a guy who wouldn't mind having orgies, but it's a cake orgy. This was disturbing. I didn't see. It's I bad. And see. It's I just wouldn't good. mind. Ha- I just wouldn't mind having cake. <laughs> right, you have the cake. Well, I'll have the orgy. But now let's not combine them. This was we the moment trade. that I was that you know, also fine. <laughs> I was thinking about when I was bringing this movie to the Saturday Night Freak Show. There's several scenes in this movie that I'm like, I wonder how these are going to play. But <laughs> these are the Gonzo moments. Yeah, Christina. Well, we see like she gets called because her father. She gets a phone call. Like you know, she's out shop. Basically, the setup of the movie is they're out shopping for this apartment that she's going to take. Yeah, right. and uh, she gets a phone call. That her father has died and she's got to go back to well, Connecticut. He's or about to die. She goes back and watches him die for yeah. a scene. Yeah, which we didn't need. But Baltimore, Baltimore. Baltimore. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah. And uh, and while she's there in this like ginormous oh fucking house, huge so, like, house. She is like rich. <laughs> like, yeah. Wow, you yeah, I mean, you are loaded. Rich. Like, um, she has a flashback scene. A very which odd is, flashback. Why? What do you mean? It's odd, but it. It worked. It, I like the way they shot the, it. The way they pan, the way it pans out, it, it's almost in like a hallucination it literally form. Pans out. Yeah, it, pan, it pans. It it's a panning pans flashback. Because it starts with her, it pans to her. Yeah. And there's yeah. Yeah, it's one of those deals where you're seeing yourself in your hallucination. Yeah. Whatever she looks yes. out the window and sees a younger version. It might almost Which, be cliche in in yeah. horror movies nowadays. Because well, it, that, I mean, it, it never really sits well with me because when you have a memory, you don't see yourself in the memory. No, you are yourself. Yeah, like you're taking the POV. So it, always, it always throws off, throws me off. So it is but, a little weird. But I yes. see that it's not. I mean, in a movie, it's kind of difficult right. to it's do it any other way. Yeah, more appealing to for the character to see themselves. Yeah, doing obviously. It, yes. but that's where I was, well, I was wondering. Like, are we setting up the character's mental state at this point? Because, like, is she on shaky ground? Definitely already. Because I can't remember. I think there's a scene before this where she starts taking pills for some. Yeah, because of... at this point she's already fainted. <clears throat> right on her modeling shoot, she's having some problems. Yeah, she fainted. she'd already fainted, and then at the funeral she was very uneasy. Yeah, yeah, she's having a migraine. I think yep. they'd say. Uh, and so she sees this younger version of herself and the scene sets up that she's in. She sees the pigtailed version of herself, which is her basically like, you know, it is. with pigtails. Uh, she hears this uh, <laughs> laughing in a room, yeah. opens the door. Oh my God. And there cake is orgy. a cake, cake orgy. orgy taking place. That should not exist. Yeah, it's disturbing. <laughs> Based on the age of the man. Because this so is my thing. Like her weird. father, right, is like a hundred years old. Man. Yeah. Yes. He is. Fr- uh, he is. He's not frail in his actions, but he's frail in his look. He's, he's very thin, bony, very man. thin very, and bony. Yeah, like yeah. he's got no musculature left whatsoever. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the word I'm looking forward to describe him. He's like, emaciated. Emaciated. That he might is be emaciated jaunt? at this point. Like, he's yeah. gaunt. Yes. Yeah. Those words apply to this man. Yeah. Yeah. So he should not have women around him whatsoever. No, yeah. let alone naked. He's women. got two naked women, two and naked they're women. like in bed eating cake. <laughs> What? Because like, it's his birthday. Is it? Didn't it say happy birthday or something? Did it? Like I, don't Maybe, know. I don't know. Yeah. He could have been. I wasn't birthday. looking at. I wasn't looking at anything else in the room, Colin. <laughs> I was looking at the naked cake eaters. It's just like, <laughs> no, what's up? And then the naked cake eaters chase her down the hall. This poor woman, where she retreats to the bathroom yeah. and slits her own no, wrist. No, before that, her naked father charges at her and oh, then slaps repeatedly her. slaps her in the face Get while the here. while the fucking cake eaters are laughing. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. 
And then she just Stuffing like their this is a cake. radio play now. And then she ru- yeah, and then you she describe run- it. You act <laughs> yeah. yes. Yeah. And then she runs to the bathroom and fucking slits her wrist with a razor blade, which is just like there, Jesus. ready for. Her. Yeah. yeah. I was like, what fucking you do, hell. Just I'm so distraught by the fact that I've seen my father naked fucking these hookers. Yeah. <laughs> and and razor blades just existed in bathrooms at this point. Sure. And ba- basically, because well, yeah. and we know this because. Uh, bathrooms used to come with the razor blade disposal in the wall. In the wall, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That used to be just. Like, shaving, and right? I remember which is, which this. Which is the creepiest thing? I remember this. Yeah, I remember whatever house I was in at this point, opening up the medicine cabinet and just be like, "Put your thing here." And I'm just yep. like, "Oh, okay, cool." Later, did I learn they just like it just goes into the wall? Yeah, yeah. that's fine. That's right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Walls? Jesus, <laughs> Walls we did not give a shit in the seventies and eighties. <laughs> we did not well, care. Built yeah. even before no, that was, oh, be, yeah, that, that was even before that. That yeah. was like we the twenties. Like yeah. this is forever. Did not ago. Care. Yeah, it'll just how many of them are there going to be, be over fine. your life? It'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. Be fine. it's not going to fill up. Like yeah. it'll be fine. No, because there's plenty of wall for it to fall into. <laughs> God. It'll be fine. Yeah, I want to find shit in walls. Was this the scene that, uh, yeah. no, 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 I was going to say, like, because uh, at some point you guys were like, you guys are coming into this movie, hadn't seen him before. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not. And you were like, this scene is a nightmare, but it wasn't this one. <laughs> it was something that happened later. So. That was, oh, yeah. that was the party. Yeah. Okay. So let's get there. <laughs> yeah. So, so she is, uh, you know, she, uh, uh, you know. She has, she is, she wants uh, her own apartment. And yeah. so she has found and she a finds... place. She's called a person. She's found a place she's going to visit. And it is beautiful. It's a nice yeah. place. This it's one of those place. old Ava place. Gardner taking her oh. around as the real estate agent. Yeah. yeah. Which, can I just say that I would listen to Ava Gardner read the phone book. Yeah. That yeah, yeah. voice is intoxicating. Yeah. It's gorgeous. It's, it's nice. I wouldn't, I love I wouldn't say no to it. And she's like, well, no, no, wait, darling. I'd like to read more. I love <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, you're that, an like, actress. That yeah. throaty yeah, voice. Oh, God, mm-hmm. I love her voice. That's fine. It's wonderful. And if she described in detail the the carvings <laughs> in the wood on every corner the of this apartment. In this, I'd be oh, fine with that. The yeah, the apartment's pretty gorgeous. cool. The apartment I mean, is nice. I like and it. Furnished. It is. And it furnished. It is something with that you would walk furnishings. into. With lovely furnishings. If you walked into it now, you'd be like, "This place is fucking creepy." But no, I wouldn't say it's creepy. It's beautiful. It's I would, got no, character. No. If I walked into it now with the furniture they had yeah. in, it, yeah, it's gorgeous. Creepy. Okay. No, because it's so old. Classic. It's so no. Dusty. It's so it's so old. <laughs> I would find it creepy because I'm like I've seen every creepy movie, oh. and this furniture and this wood and this mm. everything exists in all these creepy movies. <laughs> I like now it. I like it because I because it's just like it's it's just some handmade shit. Oh, We're just like I'm gonna yeah. caress this for a little bit, yeah, because somebody put some fucking effort into this, and I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's but beautiful. It's still... This one furniture was furniture, damn it, right? Not and it was yeah. heavy, shit. and you could like yeah. kill someone yeah, with this is... furniture. <laughs> Every, it was. Like yeah, that's every, where you go to. Not that you'd sit yes, in it and like, no, oh no. man, it would, it would if hold you your body. But if you with it, that, yeah. they would die. But like there's like Tiffany lamps. Like there is craftsmanship in every yes. item in this apartment. That's the thing. There's not craftsmanship nowadays. Yes. There was in the furniture yes. and in the housing we saw in this Gorgeous. Movie. Yeah. Gorgeous. I mean, even, the well, paintings, even, everything. The yep. apartment that, that, that Chris Sarandon lives in is that like a penthouse apartment in. overlooking it's Central lovely. Park. That he wants to move out of apparently. Why? It's amazing. Does he want to move out? He he's does. Staying there. He's looking for a place too. He's looking for he a place looking for, for a both place for of her. them. He's, oh, right. He's yeah. she's looking for a place because he like, was because he's like I want to find a place because I want to get married and I want more space. Yeah. But his place looked pretty big to me. He is very understanding for this whole thing that basically she wants to leave him but still have a relationship. She's fine. She doesn't want to leave him. Well, leave. No, they but live she wants, together. I like that he's understanding. this. just like all right because it does. Yeah. I I was worried when they were separate and she's like I want to find my own place and he's looking for a place where he can get married. Yeah. So I was worried that they were at odds on this, but then we get a scene with them together, yeah. and he understands. No, yeah, it didn't like, really become a major sense. Yeah, of, or, or, or it wasn't contention. No, yeah, I, there was no contention. I fucking like, love. Yeah, I fucking nice. love Chris Sarandon in this movie. Like he is the most supportive and understanding, he and like understands. he's a feminist. God damn it. I appreciate him yeah, in this movie. As much a feminist you could be in the in the seventies. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. Even when, because uh, you know, I was sitting there because you know you, you try to take on the perspective of all characters sure. in a movie, and even when later on, I mean, because this is one of those movies where our heroine begins to crack. Right, yeah. yes. she's seeing things that not you know aren't objectively there. Right. And right. she's explaining this to him and you can, you know, so you're like, okay, if I was this guy, you know, and somebody was telling me that, would I believe it? 
And it's like, you can tell that he doesn't necessarily believe it, but he is interested enough in in yeah. her perspective. So he's trying to get her perspective on right. it. Right. Because he's know? like, I, yeah, I really liked that moment when she's looking at the book and she's like, it's every, everything on the, on the page is the same on every page. And he really is like, okay, we're going to sort this out. She's right. seen Latin yeah, in he's this like, book that she pulls off the he shelf. He pulls out paper. He pulls out paper and he's like, write down what you're seeing. And he's mm. just like, I love that. He's not like, you're crazy. You're no, seeing. Gonna, he's like we're gonna, he's like, we're gonna figure this out. Yeah, I Let's appreciate. Let's problem that. solve this. Yeah, yeah figure yeah, out yeah. what yeah. is this. I he's like taking, that. Yeah, right. The the um the moves that you would take. You're just like, all right, if you're seeing something different, write down what you're seeing. Yeah. And let's see where we go from here. So he's taking the right, he's taking the moves I would yeah. take. Yeah. So it's it a makes logical sense. kind of It makes sense of, to yeah. the audience, I think, at this yeah. point. Because at this so he's point, he's not just yeah. right, you're crazy. No, right, it's like, no. I mean, I think you're crazy, but right. let's sit down and let's write down. Do this. He's like, oh my God, you actually are. Crazy. Right. Which your audience <laughs> is going to be like, I understand. <laughs> well, this. Especially, yeah. especially because at this point, she's basically said, I had, uh, I attended a party with my neighbors, and it turns out none of them actually exist. Right. Yeah, that's the and big so, <laughs> Right. We're all just like, whoa. Yeah. This is the big shoe drop in right. the, the end, the middle of the movie, maybe. Right. Who? So wait. She, all right. So let's say who's one of her neighbors. Well, what? Saturday Night Freak Show alum Burgess Meredith. Burgess Meredith. Who I was is, like, which one are we talking about? Naked let's, Beverly let's start, D'Angelo. Well, hold on. Let's okay. start with Burgess Meredith. Who's <laughs> okay. a Fucking. As Charles far as Chazen? I'm concerned, after we watched The Manitou, he's a fucking all star on this show. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> because if we get Burgess Meredith in a movie, God bless him, he does awesome, mm. and he does it again in he this go, movie. He goes all I out. would say. Yeah. yeah. He's doing great work. He's he wonderful. He is a uh, little old guy who lives across the hall from her, I believe, or downstairs. Uh, he I mean, lives, I think, yeah, upstairs. Upstairs, he's in, I think. Like, he's in a 4B or something. Like that. Yeah. And he, yeah. Uh, he has chasing. a, uh, so he seems like he's like old Hollywood guy or something like yes. that. You know? He does have that, yeah, where he's got some aura to him. He's, he's got some like showmanship. Yeah, he might be, he's a little flamboyant. He's, he's a little, flamboyant. You know, little he's pet fr- bird that yes, crawls around flamboyant. on his shoulder. And he also has, this is a daring move, bird on shoulder. A uh, black and white cat named right. yeah. Jezebel that he carries around with him. Right, he's yeah. gay, but he's over it. He's just like, yeah, this is this is I'm I'm a showman. Yeah, and everything. It's just like this is what I am. Well, he's also the guy who uh, basically is the well, he's the friendliest to her, I suppose, of her neighbors. He's and very he's welcoming, like very showing yeah. her. Yeah, and around I think the... he's more friendly than Beverly D'Angelo. Let's say that. Jesus Christ, <laughs> we're getting to that. <laughs> okay. Let's say that. Who are oh her God. other neighbors? <laughs> The uh, lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I mean, like, you know, don't blame us for referring to them as that. They call them that, that is, multiple that times is, in this movie. We're just going by what they call, call them lesbians, 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 lesbians anymore? I mean, it's it's a little offensive to just it's, refer it's to a, people that it's way. A very, oh, it's a, it's a, oh, the know. way they do here. Yeah. yeah this is where the lesbians direct. live. Yeah, it's right, a little yeah. offensive. It's a very direct right, right, offensive to do it how yeah. they do it in this movie. But that is how they do yeah, this movie. So the lesbians, live. yeah, this is where the lesbians. This live. is where the lesbians live, which yeah. is yeah. the greatest line in this movie, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> it's so casual because well, it's so casual and direct. She's introduced to. I think she comes home and I think she goes into their apartment. All these yeah, apartments. The doors, the doors open. The doors just open. Yeah, so she these just walks apartments in. And she wants have the to worst herself. fucking doors. They slide open. They're not like not all of them. Just not hers. That one. Just hers. Because the lesbian's door doesn't slide <laughs> open. <laughs> <laughs> Was it like an actual? It opened. No, it's a sliding door. Yeah. Her door is the only one that slides. It's a, yeah. it's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre it door, is. ladies and gentlemen. It is. A it really pocket is. door? It's a pocket yeah. door. Yeah, it was Which like, I that cannot like. be your front fucking door. Nobody but likes pocket whatever. doors. It's huge wood oak. Huge <laughs> pocket, pocket door. door. Yeah. Yep. And so she uh, she meets her neighbors Just who are walks leotard in. clad. She shouldn't. Uh, but yeah. Beverly yeah. D'Angelo, who doesn't say a word. She doesn't mute. say one word the whole right. movie. She's the younger one of the couple. Sylvia Miles, who uh, you'll remember from The Fun House. Listener, right? If you're in the, Is she horror, in the fun house, she's in the fun house. Okay. What was the other movie I said that she was in that we watched? That what, was it last week? Oh, fucking hell, I can't Don't remember. Know. I said it earlier Don't tonight. Don't remember. Um, oh, so she's on the wall now. She's close. Apparently. We haven't watched the fun house. Oh, okay. Yeah, I we thought, will at one point. Okay. Yeah, I thought you watched should. that a long time ago. No. Well, okay. she. So she's the older one in the in the the relationship, yep. and so basically, like, come in and have the tea. She's German or something, right? She's, she's like, gotta make coffee. German. Yeah. yeah. As I go make coffee, you sit here and like blah blah. Blah, blah. <laughs> I 
Apparently, she's and Dracula. I'm, and I'm basing this off of your accent that you've brought into this. You're like, she's German. Maybe and she's then you Hungarian. did that. And I'm just like, blah. Maybe she's Hungarian. Who knows? <laughs> They're in no, the She's Leotard. German. You don't know how to do German. All right, that's what fine. I'm saying. We're all terrible at accents. No, we're all very okay. bad at this. <laughs> so, but blah. Terrible. Blah. So here we go. Blah, blah, blah. So, what happens <laughs> in this scene? What's, what was so uh, memorable? Oh, about it? my God. So, totally me. I don't Maybe Sean should tell this. All right, so we I mean Sean, we, we yeah. get into the scene. So she's introduced. She walks into the apartment just because she's looking for her neighbors and everything. And the door is uh, cracked open, which doesn't mean you should enter someone's apartment, but she does. And so she's wandering around, and she's introduced to two women. Uh, one uh, who I feel like is like at least like fifteen years older than the other woman. So we get who's the older woman? Sylvia Miles. Sylvia okay. Miles and Beverly D'Angelo, who's the young one who doesn't talk. Both dressed in full leotards, full yeah. leotards, ballet attire. Yeah, and they introduce themselves to our main character. Yep. Um, and they're just like, "Oh, sit, have tea, and all this stuff." So they want to do a little gathering and everything. Yep. Um, and it, it just all seems very weird yep. off the bat. And when she leaves to make coffee, uh, and so like <laughs> she, the older one leaves to make coffee, and we're left with the mute that is Beverly D'Angelo, who automatically starts. Masturbating. Well, oh, hold on. It, uh, I, I, I want to say no, no, no. no. That's well, what I it say, is. I want to say excruciatingly masturbates. Like I want to give it a enthusiastically, I give it a term. enthusiastically, yeah. vigorously. Vigorously, vigorously, vigorously goes to town. And this is the kind of like master where she's just staring directly. Right there at, is eye uh, contact. Maintaining eye contact. Yeah, right. And All she's there, just like oh wow, through the it. leotard. Of course, it's not an explicit film, but and uh, so we're no, but, left... at one, but at one point, like her hand gets in there. Oh yeah, it yeah, does. Yeah. So I'm like, how does an actor do there are, this? Like, there's <laughs> tights in. The, yeah, no, yeah. you're wearing a leotard. There's not, and the camera's head on. Not so gonna question it. Not, really... not gonna she's, ask what your motivation was. She's in there. Yeah. You do what you do, and all that. Um, but it it did, um, and she doesn't say a word, but she is vocal. Yeah, vocal. It does lead the viewer to be like. You uh, enter the um, the mind of your main character, and you ask, "What would you do in this situation?" Yeah, because uh, Allison basically is like, "I'm trying to look everywhere." Right, else Allison than, like, is like she she's yeah. embarrassed slightly. So yeah, the hair falls at, over. F- at like, first, <laughs> yeah, at first she like giggles right. and like looks. I'm right. like, what? But then the f- Beverly Angela keeps going. And it's, she's she's coming <laughs> home, she, and she's you know coming home. Going for <laughs> yeah, nice really, one. Thank you, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yep. Yeah, she's not uh, she's not stopping. No, um, she she is Kit Keller round and third. Yeah, that's where you like. Uh, She's so, going for it. Yep. She's not going to stop until she, ship's coming in the harbor. Yeah, she's gonna <laughs> she's gonna barge into someone, and that yep. works. I think for both analogies. I think so. Barge being well. One so word. Allison's yeah. sitting there, basically waiting for the other one to come back in for Please, like, to, to stop. Get, it, yeah, to yeah. Get, like get yeah, me help, out of this. Help me. It's a very awkward situation, which works because uh, that's how I felt. Uh, yes, and then, <laughs> indeed. The other one comes in, and she's like, "Okay, so uh, yeah, you're back." Uh, so what do you guys, uh, what do you do for a living? Right. And, and she leans like, up next to him. We fondle each other. Yeah, she, fondle. Yeah, rubbing Beverly, <laughs> Beverly D'Angelo's tit. Yep. Going to town. It's like, okay, yeah. at this point, Which, she's like, all right, I gotta go. <laughs> she does. She gets up and leaves. Yeah. Sean, I, uh, Sh- Sean, I have to point out that your your miming just now looked more like you were scratching. <laughs> she but, may have been scratching your. But tip. I I appreciate. Yeah, there, <laughs> it, uh, scratching and rubbing. There's. It's just uh, how fast you're doing it is the only difference between. I think. Uh, there's so a, there's, know, there's a difference rubbing. in pressure, but okay, okay. Sure. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like it's the speed. Scratching, All right. rubbing. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, charades going on here. Sorry, I'm so sorry for so, doing that. In the meantime, so we find out from the uh, realtor that, like, it turns out. Oh, and, and then there's the party that she's invited to for the cat. The cat has a birthday party, and right. she's introduced to yeah. all the other Jezebel's fifth yeah. birthday party. This yeah. is the awkward part that we were like, this is a nightmare. A nightmare. This Why? is a nightmare because right, right because it's yeah. it's uh, uh, um. Uh, what's Bridges Meredith? Bridges Meredith just like is like I've got a surprise. Brings I'm gonna blindfold Allison. you. Brings her in. Right, because he decides I'm gonna blindfold you. Which you know, red flag number one. Yes, never let anyone blindfold no, you. No, never unless let you, anyone unless you blindfold you. <laughs> unless Even you then, unless, you, be unless you specifically ask them to. Right, <laughs> unless you've asked. Yeah. It's Don't a surprise. It. It's a surprise. No, 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 surprise, no, no, no. There's, this did there, not, this, there's murder and this did not warrant a and rape at the end of that. So it don't did, do that. It did not warrant a blindfold. It's no. movies like these that have jaded 
poor young minds like Sean. <laughs> right. Sorry, like, yeah. don't ever be blindfolded. Uh, you know, again. I've had, you it know, what, I've had badly. my own experiences being blindfolded, and it didn't end up good. And I'll tell you about that off mic. Okay. So, but she does get blindfolded and brought up to a party for Jezebel, who the is cat. apparently the cat, the, cat. the black, the and, black white cat and white with cat with the black and white cake. Yes, who's apparently five <laughs> years old, and everyone in the apartment is celebrating that birthday. Yeah, everyone in the apartment building but, is there. But this yeah. is, and I've seen this scene before, and it is, a, to me, a nightmare from beginning to end. Because I've seen, uh, there's only a few shots away from it being everything that would make me uncomfortable. Close-ups of these people having a good time. Like, it just, it's not a good thing. It just feels them. off, the whole it thing. It feels off. Everything feels off. It's not right. It's not natural. The main character should feel odd about this whole thing. Yeah, but it works. Because it works. Oh, she has time, a yes. nightmare about it later. Like after she yes. goes home, she falls asleep and she has like the the nightmare version of it. Yes, where she sees like the everybody's naked and uh, Chris yes. Sarandon is there, but which he's is not what I was seeing while it was off at, the bat. Yeah, right. So it just kind of adds to this. Like what the hell? So, but we learn ultimately that uh, that that no one else does live in the building. She, there's her and the priest, and so. Right. This whole thing that she's experienced with these neighbors. It really these is. They people know don't exist. Here for 25 yeah, years. Yeah, because I made that joke when we were watching it. <laughs> Holly made this joke in the middle of this movie, and then it came true. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. And it was, uh, <laughs> it turns out, but this is like the midway point. I expected really that is. revelation to come later, because then you're left with like, okay, so then. That, no, if, if you're not going to do that where it did it now, that is a like late third act revelation. Yeah. 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 You are you have been here by yourself. Right. The next major thing I think that happens is her uh boyfriend who's a lawyer who has access to every single person in you know in New York somehow Apparently. by yeah. uh, <laughs> being their uh, all the their all clients uh hires a private investigator to go check out the place because she's hearing people walking in the uh right. the apartment above her and so one night she hears people walking in the apartment above her and she wanders out into the dark in one of those flat- awesome <laughs> uh nighty uh, the yep. white uh, oh, it's slips. It's the top she, and the short shorts. Yeah. She's, yeah. With the she wears, spaghetti strap that hangs off the shoulders. She's, wearing, sexy. she's wearing lots it, of white in this it, movie. It is literally the sexiest thing yeah. on film, uh, I guess. <laughs> like, it, it really is. Yeah. Like, there's nothing. A woman in a in a, in a spaghetti strap. It uh, really is. In, what do they call it? Uh, satin? It is uh, satin. Like it's satin. It, satin oh, yeah. and lace. It, yeah. really, uh, I don't know. Like, I don't think you can get beyond that. Like, to just, if you're going for the, uh, uh, you're not showing everything, you're just showing mm-hmm. a little bit. It's the sexiest oh, yeah, thing. Yeah, because you, you were do. saying during the movie, okay. you were like, you know, Slumber Party Massacre, where yeah. they were in like lingerie and stuff. Right. Like, I prefer this. It, to be it honest with you. Like, right. Because they're doing it for exploitation reasons, like more so. They're just like, let's pull it up a little more. Yeah, and the yeah. show will be a little more revealing. This is the ultimate, like, uh, we're going to leave it to your imagination. Mm-hmm. But it, but the spaghetti strap it, hanging down oh, off the shoulder. It, it's a, the yeah, spaghetti it's a good, strap hanging off the shoulder. <laughs> Sorry, is, no, <laughs> if I if I'm being honest, I am taking notes. Oh, no, okay. it, uh, no, it is. It is the ultimate thing that I think is universal to every male. The the strap that goes, oh, yeah, and yeah, falls yeah, off the shoulder. Yeah. All right, yep. notice it because it's <laughs> like it is. It is one of the sexiest things that has ever been shown in cinema. So take okay. that for what you will, but it really does do something for the men. Yeah. Noted. Yeah. So there you go. Got so, it. So if, he, <laughs> if you could just do a false go like, ha, ha, and have it fall off the shoulder. If you can make that happen. Yeah. yeah. You just got to wear it loose Yeah. Oh, yeah. Drive them crazy. Yeah. It oh, will do it. Right, but, I will work on that. <laughs> but this leads us to the next big moment in this movie. One of Bravo Entertainment, or was it uh, oh. the, uh, the, the AFI's? Um, oh, did the it, AFI? Not oh. AFI. American Film Institute. Yeah. Did Top someone acknowledge 100 this? 100 oh. scary moments in movies. Oh, oh. my God. Dude, did they acknowledge that was, this? Yeah. It was Ooh, freaky nice. as all hell, dude. It is. What happened? It oh. is fucking creepy. It is creepy. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, this is what I'm like in a movie that, and this is why I think this movie gets overlooked, is because it yeah. doesn't have enough showstopper moments yeah but it had this one it oh, had this one it did. which did it for me because well, I maybe yeah. it has two it also has the ending but it has sure. this but one. i was like audible and when you're audible through a movie yeah especially one you haven't seen before and you're just like oh shit yeah especially with especially and, and let's be real especially with a movie from the 70s with a movie from the 70s based yeah. on everything we've seen before yeah. it and to get that reaction from this movie i mean you got to give it credit for that because yeah. i was just like oh shit 
Yeah. yeah. It's creepy. It and it creepy. ends with a scene of bloodshed, which is explicit. Yes. In yes. a way that like I it did is. not expect it to be I that was not ex- I was, no. and no, to I linger. But let's say <laughs> let's go back and say it starts with it starts with how um my ultimate nightmare begins. Yeah. Where you're just in a fucking dark area and you get and we see uh the door. Oh my god. Oh, it's I so creepy. Love this. It's, it's so creepy. It's so creepy. <laughs> I love it. It, so the it's a door opening in your main character and then it swings yeah. back and then you get like the silhouette of and you know it's a fucking creepy yeah fucking you just, individual you just on the see other a, side. you know it's a pale dude that's you all you can it. tell you know it just silhouette in black and they just like run yeah towards the camera and then into another dark corner and then for I don't oh know why, god it is someone found out that that was the creepiest <laughs> thing you could ever do on film it is so fucking unsettling and it's just. This yeah. is what James Wan has made his yes, entire career. It is. Awesome. Yes, it is. It this yes. scene it is. <laughs> it is. It is because it's the fucking creepiest shit you could do. Yeah. Have someone run from one dark corner to another yeah. dark corner, or just like you get a glimpse of something, and yeah. they're just like. Huh. But the build up there, I mean, is tense, and then her reaction is like, you know, because she's exploring, she is exploring the room because she wants to find out who the fuck this is, yes. and so she approaches. The pale specter with his back turned Which no one would away ever from do. her yeah. with a flashlight, but the flashlight's off. And when she turns the flashlight on, he's turned towards her, and it's her father. Her father. Yeah. <laughs> her dead, decaying her dead, father. Yes. With dead, decaying cataract blind eyes. father, yes. And so yeah, she yeah. slashes at him with a knife, and it's like she stabs him in the in the arm. She stabs him in, she, yeah. in, the, in the heart. Yes. Then she stabs him in the eye and splits yes. his eye in half, and it's like... It, and it, it like oozes out yeah. it oh, does she, she, like she cuts the eye in half then she cuts his nose off yes. and it was like yeah. holy fucking shit I yes. was not this expecting this this is what this. makes that scene effective because she fucking does it and it's what they it's do it's gross with, oh, it's yeah. gross and oh. it's just like they hit all the points they hit all the scenes uh, where you're just like oh, that would be horrifying yeah. split yeah, your yeah, eye in yeah. half cut your yeah. nose off ugh yeah. yeah. Oh, it's surprising effective. for, surprising for, for effective. a mainstream Hollywood movie. Yes. <laughs> Very oh. surprising. Very um, surprising. But this leads, I guess, into the second half of the movie where then Eli Wallach as a New York detective with, with the, his with mostly the biggest ties in the history of the world. <laughs> oh, they're amazing. Yes. And the biggest they're sidekick huge. in the history of the world. And it's Christopher, Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken. Who has like two who lines says in two lines. Because yep. this is the year before the deer hunter, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so they are charged with. So basically, we find out that like uh, Chris Sarandon's previous wife uh, died under mysterious circumstances. Yeah. They yeah. took up with uh, Allison Parker. So did she jump or was she pushed off of a bridge? Did she commit suicide or was she murdered? Mm. Um, and so because of that, they're like, and now your new mistress is like uh, covered in blood. We can't we find no body. Right. We, we don't know if it's hers or like what happened. She thinks that she killed somebody. She's talking about all these phantom people that exist in this uh, apartment. The detective's body turns up a couple weeks later. He's killed in the exact same. He's missing a nose. His eyes all gouged yeah. out. And, all that stuff. and you're like, what the fuck is happening? Chris Sarandon says, I'm going to solve this whole problem that you have. This is after the Latin translation of the book where she right. sees every single page being the same or whatever. And so on the fateful night, no, sorry, he talks to the Diocese of New York and we find out that the house is actually owned by the Catholic Church and they've installed this priest upstairs because he is the sentinel that is guarding the gates of hell. Yes, And like every so many years, they like take a person off of uh, the street who has committed suicide and is therefore damned in the eyes of God. Who has, who has suicide. attempted suicide. Attempted, attempted suicide. suicide. Yes. Sorry, yeah, they didn't commit it, obviously. They right. <laughs> uh, and they make them into a, uh, a priest or a nun, and they become the, the new sentinel. And it's, she's going to become the new mm-hmm. sentinel of yeah. the building. Yep. Chris Rannon finds this out and is like, I got to run over there uh, and try and solve this or stop this. Yeah. And that's where yeah. I think, like, at this point in the movie, because you've built up to this like kind of forward momentum, and then it kind of breaks the momentum for a little while, where it has to like they got to go to a party and like she's gonna right. die a little tonight, bit because gotta make sure that she's okay. Because we're building up his like investigation of the whole thing. Yeah, but but he's got to hold on to her. He really needed to go like from that revelation where he contracts uh, William Hickey, who's the safe cracker. That of course because yeah. he knows everybody. Uh, yes. And so 
they have to uh it should have gone from there like i gotta get over to the house right, right. now yeah. and protect her from being killed because it's tonight not tomorrow yes it's tonight yeah this is how you remake it right uh sure so the following night he does go back over there i think everybody ends up coming back to the the house she, he co- goes first and he goes to try and find out, you know, who this priest is upstairs. Right. And he breaks into his apartment and it, uh, off screen, he's cold cocked by. He tries to kill the priest. Yeah. So that's a big no, no, apparently in the holy. Uh, I mean, theology. Should, I mean, it's I mean, I think just, you know, killing anybody. Killing is, yeah, is, is, is a, t- a no, no. Is a no, no. Once you figure out, like, it's one of the he's, commandments. He's uh, a, yeah. the sentinel trying to, you know, he's keeping an eye on the gates of hell. Yeah. You, you don't kill that guy. Don't kill that guy. Uh, God gets angry guy. with you. And he damns will. you to hell if you do. Right. And he, which he does. How do we know that? Because uh, Allison eventually makes her way from the party she was at to the house, mm-hmm. the apartment that she lives in and upstairs. And she runs into Chris Randon, who is different. Because now he knows mm-hmm. all this. He's explaining. He becomes yeah. exposition yes. guy. Yes, he does. And is explaining the mythology of the movie. Yes. That there's been this long yeah. lineage since... Uh, the angel uh, Uriel, yeah. uh, who was stationed, you know, in, I'm sorry, I, I right? Uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> to guard the gates of hell. Right. It's been a long tradition Eden to guard from, the uh, Yes, yeah. it, it, it is Eden. to guard Eden yeah. from hell, yeah. yes. And from, from Uriel on forward, there has been the there's Sentinels. Been a guardian, yes. There's and this is sentinel. the, you know, you're supposed to become the latest one. But it turns out because he tried to kill, he's an undead specter now. Chris yes, Aranen. he is. Yeah. And he's joined by then Burgess Meredith shows up. Yes, so in, Burgess in the Meredith, way only Burgess Meredith can. Is he the devil? I kind he of is felt in like charge. He was. I don't know if he's the devil. He's in charge. Yeah, he might be like he might be Lucifer. He might be. He's yeah. He's the main. He's the main dude. He's the I, he's the biggest dude in this movie. He's well, the big I don't bad. Know he's he's the big bad. How do we know he's, he's the big bad? Because he's in charge of all the people that come after him. Who are who are the, the uh, freaks? The demons, yeah. the demons. Well, he who like are summons the, freaks. Pathetic, the pathetic wretches of hell. Yeah, yes. all of a sudden, <laughs> these people emerge from the woodwork of the hotel. Yeah, the gorgeous woodwork. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we got the unfortunate, yeah. the unfortunate, ungorgeous people who uh, come Oof. from the gorgeous woodwork. Yeah. yeah. So this movie, like the, this is also why this movie is, I think, infamous. I uh, think so. Yeah. Cast real life uh, deformed uh, yeah. people. Yes. Uh, and some of it's like hideously disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Where you're just like, ooh, Jesus Christ. It really is. I mean, it's exploitive, obviously. It is, yeah. but but it works because it you're works. Like, it's effective. Yeah. Very. Yeah. And you would hope that whether it's politically correct or not, I don't. Uh, yeah. You would hope that, but the people, it's effective. that these people knew what they were getting into and knew what they were doing yeah, but you know. never know you, yeah. you you can't watching this movie now you yeah. can't know i hope i hope it's this it's a situation like the like the guy who's missing a bunch of limbs, so he vol- he plays zombies in like every zombie movie. Right. Yeah, because he's like, I'm gonna do this. Like, right. this is my it, life right. now. But, I'm gonna at least have fun a, with that. You know, I some, hope it's like that. Right, because you don't you know. assume that they knew going into it that like it's a payday and I get to be in a movie and like right. I can be famous and you and know. enough. It feels like enough circumstances. Like they're in it long enough where they should know the si- the situation that they're in. Yeah, so yeah. you would hope they and know they're not being taken advantage of. And right, like, you're gonna play a demon from hell, an ugly, disgusting. Right. I, horrible I, hideous demon. And like, now it feels Jesus. like in this movie they knew that that was happening. Right. But so we're again, assume that that's the case. I will then. assume that's what's happening. I don't know for sure, but I will assume based on context clues, they yeah. all knew what they were well, doing. Well, this movie got heavily criticized for that. Obviously, sure. the same uh, way yeah. that, as uh, it would. Yeah. Freaks did yeah. in, yeah, yeah, yeah. in, in as the 1930s. Would. That movie was banned until the 1960s. Freaks? Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. um because it was I think the thought was that people were being taken advantage sure. of when yeah. you know, sure. They have said that they weren't, but you know, right. Um, so yeah, you have this kind of cavalcade of which uh, I wasn't expecting. Like I didn't, no. lo- I, I, I did vaguely not see remember that coming. Uh, something being said about it being exploitive of some people, but I was not expecting the cavalcade of people that came in at the end. Yeah, I was not expecting. You know, that. I was not. Ironically, what this movie made me think about at that point in time was that this movie feels in some way like the movie Jacob's Ladder. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now I may have to explain that. Adrian because yeah, yeah, the the Jacob's Ladder movie deals with concepts of like heaven and hell, but from like a very fleshy, fleshy human perspective. Sure. 
demons in that movie are not horned, red tailed, pitchfork wielding CGI, all on fire creations. They are like deformation. Yeah. Uh, creatures and yeah. angels are not, you know, there's angels in that movie, but they're like chiropractors, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I need to watch Jacob's Ladder. Holy shit. You've never seen it? No, I've never oh, seen Jacob's okay, Ladder. Okay. 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 So, seen it. yeah. But, so now you've really adjusted my viewing of yeah. what Jacob's Ladder is. Well, it kind of gives me that, Well, and then <laughs> it seems like, like a lot of Japanese video games and a lot of Japanese horror movies kind of go this way where it's like the deformation of the human form mm. serves. I mean, look at like Silent Hill. Right. right, it's that you're 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 deforming the human form to create the sense of of horror. Yes, uh, and these all kind of share the same. Uh, they occupy the same space. It seems like in in horror. Sure, but the the so the quote unquote demons from hell rise up behind Burgess Meredith and is like he's summoning them, yeah. and he actually is like full really of is, my, yes. my creatures and my lovelies. You yeah, know? they are they are all closing in. Because at the end we get to, they're all closing in on Allison. Mm-hmm. We've come in because I think we've established at this point she is to replace, yeah, um, the priest. Yes, the the whole the whole idea is that she's going to replace the priest to become the new sentinel. And new the, sentinel. And these these demons, these figures that are living in the house, have been trying to make her go insane so that right. she will because, kill herself. Right. Because so that, that is, she will join the house and right. not that be the new sentinel. That is the way sentinel. they stop this. Is yeah. that they 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 will uh, try and make the new sentinel. Uh, commit suicide, right. and it's the only way to stop them from continuing this process that they have done for years. This mm-hmm. is maybe where I think the movie maybe I I get that the movie is trying to build up like she is a lapsed Catholic, right? She mm-hmm. yeah. was much made about like this uh, um, um, necklace that she has, the crucifix necklace, mm-hmm. and all. She starts going to the church and you know all this, so they're trying to build up like her faith is being restored. I never got the feeling. That she was even at the end when like the old priest and the uh, the other priest they show up and they they march through the demons in the apartment right. with the crucifix held out before them so she can grab onto it and that's her salvation. It's like I see what they're trying to do there because this is supposed to be like the moment when like you know her faith rescues her. You know, and this is the the symbol of the faith, and mm. you grab onto it, and this is what. Bring. But I never really got the feeling. Did you in the movie that like? that's what was happening it just no. seemed like at the end she was thinking about killing herself she had the knife right at her her wrist then she's like okay i'll grab the crucifix and- i i never got that she was she assumes the position as the sentinel of this position right but i never got that she did it because of her faith i did it because she realized the need for someone to do it it was for me it was never based on faith what uh- the, because it didn't seem strong. That what I what I took from it was that she was in like the purest moment of being human, and she had complete desperation. And in that moment, she chose God over death, and that's why it's her. I think that's the, that's a better explanation. Yeah, like there, there is like a, worse, she she might like, not, she might not be super religious, but yeah. she, in the in the in the moment of in the moment of desperation, right. she made the choice. It is not it's still a it is raw not the, deal. Like you didn't actually want or like even feel like. Oh right, no, she's fucked. No, like, she's, <laughs> no, 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 I agree, she's fucked. It, but it has it's l- very less to do with religion. Yeah. over knowing what she needs. It's to a do. choice. Yeah. Yes. I think that's it's not it. faith. It's a choice. No, it's not faith. Yeah. It's a choice. Yeah. So the demons are relegated back to hell. They have yes. to all like yeah. disappear into the woodwork, yes. which yeah. is great. Yeah, well, I, I like, like them the all going back. back. Yeah, I like because the way again, it's not flashy back. special effects. It's just right. they kind of all just retreat right. back and yeah. cut away, and right. then they're gone. And it's all uh, first of all, or let's say it's all led by Burgess Meredith, yeah. which, which yes. but, like, does God, seem very demonic. God bless Burgess Meredith for his ability to do the things that he does. With being like uh, demonic, with yeah. being what we saw before in the Manitou, yeah, yeah no, I just I, fucking, yeah. I just I, I love him because he he does he gives great. it his all and it's always different. Mm-hmm. It is like he it's always a different. Things. Oh God, I love it. Oh, we forgot. I'm like, surprised. I love when you it. say the Manitou and the Manitou, Burgess Meredith has one scene where he basically, pardon me, steals it by steals just it. doing all this weird actorly shit where it's yeah. like, oh, I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna talk about this. Martin Balsam yeah. is in this movie having that role. 
He is yes, the Latin he does. expert. He does. Yes. That, uh, that yes. Chris Randy has to go. Yes, see. love <laughs> yeah. that scene. Yes. When when do I go dancing? What yes. Day is my yeah. Yeah. Wednesday Martin is Lawson. when I go. Uh, I fancy love dancing. him. <laughs> I love the woman who's in that scene. Yeah. She's like, I'm your student. Like that. Yeah. Just, What's oh, your name? Great. Amy. Oh, that's right. It's written down here. Eldridge, oh, you're here. Very good. I'm not Eldridge. I mean, it's just. Oh, it's weird. It's great. It's, it's great. It is the eccentricities of. It, because someone had to decide that these people were going to have the, these eccentricities, and I'm yeah. just like, thank you for making that decision. Yeah. Because it works it. for I don't know if movie. that's in the book then, or yeah, if that was know, somebody just writing, no, Martin right, Balsam yeah. writing his own no, scene. I don't know if it is, but it, like whatever you decided, it works. Like the Chris, fact that it made it to the screen. Chris bravo. Sarandon walks into the office. The girl clearly knows that he's just walked in. She still manages to run right into him yeah, on her yeah, way yeah, out. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. just... I don't know why they did that, but I love it. It's unusual I and it weird. It is. Yes. Uh, I don't I mean, know, but it is, I think it, it it's had great. To, I think it had to do with her look because she was, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. I don't know what that meant. Well, the movie also has <laughs> looking, a, uh, a, a coda. They, they don't They don't make women like they do in the uh, 1970s. I was just looking at her <laughs> boobs because she had That's ma- what I'm talking well, about. She had massive That's and, what I mean by it. They didn't make women like they do in then. And nobody wears bras in the 1970s either. Not at all. Um, yeah. Good looking woman. There's a coda at the end of the movie, which apparently takes place in the future, where we see that the building's been demolished and yeah. a new right. uh, you know, apartment They've rebuilt. Building. And Tom Berenger shows up, and he's being introduced was to- Was it Tom like, Berenger? That was Tom Berenger. Yeah, holy shit. I missed that. I missed that. Tom Berenger. Very oh young Tom God. Berenger. I mean, this movie is a who's who. Everybody. I know. Yeah. It's crazy. Off of this oh one, we're going to get a lot of Hall of Famers. We could. I, we yeah. you. If, if you were going to play the movie game, we're just like- Yeah, this person. Yeah. We could do, do this. We, yeah, do we have Eli Wallach on the wall now? Uh, he should be. He's got to be. We gotta, well, here. We got we to gotta check and see if- We'll we'll check on that. We will. Yeah, uh, we'll have Eli to look Wallach, at that. Bridge, Bridges Meredith, I'm sure. That, um, but the end of it suggests that even though it's in the future, uh, Ava Gardner is still the real estate agent. Yes. Yeah. Which made me think, Who like, will okay, never age. so she never ages. So like, how? So she is a part of this uh, yes. uh, recruitment effort yeah. to find the new Sentinel. Yeah. Like this is all part of the thing because uh, when I wondered if she was like an an angel or something. She is maybe if she is supernatural yeah. in Ooh, some that would, way. That would explain it because she doesn't I, age. I think right? she might be an she angel. She is supernatural in some way. Because yeah. yeah, they mentioned She's gotta be. yeah they mentioned like the relationship with with um, Uriel and Gabriel. I'm like she might be like she, a no, Gabriel. No, like, she's the she, constant, the yeah. guardian of this. She's the guardian of this lookout. Like she has to well, find that's what the I mean. human they, who will She's got to find the human the, uh, who will be. The, that's you know, what I. That's what I meant. Like the Gabriel yeah. and the Euro. She might no, be yeah, the she, Gabriel. No, she's got to be. Yeah. yeah. So she will never age, and she will always be that. Yeah. yeah. Oh and yeah. We see that upstairs now, uh, blinded. Uh, Allison has become a nun, sitting, yeah. looking, yes. staring out the window at Which, the top of the building. I mean, so she can gauge her power and where it is, and she's like, "Well, she's gonna die soon, so yeah. we yeah. find a new sentinel." Yeah. I love that ending. Well, we got to read I the do. book, The Guardian, the uh, sequel, because it is about you uh-huh. know some couple moving nope. into the building and there's will this not. nun upstairs. Not going to read it. Not going to yeah. read it. <laughs> if you've read it, do you have no, a brailer? <laughs> I was trying to look up a synopsis of it, and I yeah, couldn't like actually you, find it. Like all the, you people who read The Manitou that we did not know yeah. about, apparently. That Maybe you've all thing. read The Sentinel. Yeah. If you've read The Sentinel, I'd like Let to us know. know. Let us know. Jesus. Look up uh, Eli Wallach here. I'm looking right. around. Yeah, the we've wall. got. I mean, we've got two at this yeah. point. He I will. Not, he might not I be on there. Is this an updated version? Oh, yeah, of the yeah, wall? yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe we've only seen him in Circle of Iron. I think there's maybe. only two. Yeah, and the Sentinel. Okay, well, he's on his way. He's, right. on, he's his on, way. on his way. We'll get you there, Eli. He'll, he'll be enshrined. Rest. Yeah, because he deserves it. Well, he we did actually it. add a couple people to the Wall of Fame. The Wall of Fame. If you, if an actor or director has been in a movie. Three times yeah. that we've covered on this show. Um, <laughs> no, don't say that. Don't say prominently, because it's not true. Well, uh, Bridges <laughs> Meredith has already been on the wall. Yes. We're adding Good. So. Rightfully so. Good. He Rightfully is uh, so. in we The Sentinel, him. The Manitou, Magic, and State of Grace. He is there. He is. Ah. Remember State of Grace way back in the day? He is a pillar of the wall. Uh, we're also adding Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> In yes! The- yeah! About time! Yep. Yes! He was in, we what did we uh, Jurassic Park and the Grand Budapest Hotel. We yes. covered Jesus. past right. episodes. Yeah. Okay. And now the Sentinel. So there you go. <laughs> we got some really like major uh, studio release stuff for fucking yeah. Jeff Goldblum <laughs> well. to be in there. But that's fine. That's fine. 
That's fine. All right, so we got him in with the fucking Sentinel. So and the Sentinel. Now he's on the yeah. Good. That's fine. Part of the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame. Uh, that's right. I might actually put a picture of Jeff Goldblum up on this wall. All right. Well, I, I would that's be okay what with the that. whole idea. Yeah. Is. yeah. Uh, so right now, listener, I tell you what, we're gonna Sean stick has, around with us. Sean has Jeff Goldblum magnets. I do. I do love Jeff Goldblum. I do too. <laughs> I'm a fan. Now you have to buy the Sentinel and put it on your shelf. So I have good. a pin. I have a little enamel pin that says "Life uh, Finds a Way." Uh, with the, it's with, great. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's great. Jeff I love, I've been I love Jeff Goldblum. To find out is it him I... laying on the uh, the the sexy the... Jeff Goldblum? No, it's just oh, that, it's just yeah. his face. But I love that. I send I, would, I send that picture to people. I would on their buy that, that that pop cl- that uh, figure of a sexy Jeff Goldblum. Like the, pop like, the, like the life pop size? vinyl. The yeah. pop yeah. vinyl exists, but you don't have it. I don't, but like, I would. Well, I mean, you got to crack that oversight. So sure. we're going to read some of your mail, listeners. Then we're going to tell you what we thought of the Sentinel and whether or not you should see it. Well, that's right. We've been holding that from you. Did everybody here hate it? It's possible. You never know until you find this uh, stuff out when uh, when they tell you. So first of all, we're going to summon our mailman, Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. He's our own gatekeeper of sorts. He does look after something. We're mm-hmm. just not sure if it's the gateway to hell. It could be. We don't put him in charge of anything really important. No, 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 Which is also why, you know, somebody who committed suicide who doesn't really have a whole lot of faith, why would you choose? But whatever. What? 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 Yeah. Um, Okay. So you can get a hold of us, listener, on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. By email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or on Instagram. At Saturday Night Freak Show. Uh, Tanya Taylor writes in about the Sentinel and says, it's one of my favorites, very 70s, great shock scenes. Yeah, for sure. Probably agree. Shaky Subject Matter writes in and says, this is a good one. What a cast from Sarandon to Ber- Behringer. Yeah, for what sure. What a cast. Holy what a shit. cast. Robin Lindemann Silverberg says, the Sentinel is one of my favorites, but it almost seems a little too highbrow for the Saturday Night Freak Show. I disagree. Right? I disagree. He says, then I remembered the controversy over using actual deformed humans or freaks as demons and denizens Uh, of hell. And I realized this is right up our alley. Besides, any movie with Bridges Meredith is all right by me. That's right. Ryan Larson writes in and says, this film features a very touching scene with a young (laughs) Beverly (laughs) D'Angelo. Indeed, it does. (laughs) She's touched. We're touched. Nope. Everyone's touched. She's just touched, really. She's touched. Just her. Just her. Uh, Appy L says, wow, yeah, with Christina Raines and Chris Sarandon. I remember seeing it as a kid and having a a lot of slow parts. Perhaps it's time to rewatch it. I would think so. Yeah, there's, there's some slow bits, but it's not, it's not, it's not too slow to not watch it. Yeah, there's not a lot of slow bits. It's not too slow. Well, Andrew John, when we said we were going to watch The Sentinel, says, oh, hell yes, this movie is insane. Thanks for giving me a reason to revisit it. Yeah. Good Joe job. Scaramanga <laughs> says. Scaramanga. Scaramanga. Says, <laughs> Scaramanga. Uh, <laughs> Very frightening. Uh, never mind. Very frightening. <laughs> James Bond <laughs> villainy. He says, oddly, for a Michael Winter film, it's very restrained and pretty creepy until it goes a bit loopy in the final half hour. Creepy loopy, yeah. I'll give you that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, about last week's, or sorry, two weeks ago, we watched a movie called Idle Hands. Yep. Michael Whitaker writes in and says, Devin Sawa was a thing recently in the mid-90s. The last thing I actually remember credited to him was the voice of Flash Thompson in the MTV Spider-Man cartoon. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Bravo. Jolo Hoho says the girls in my high school <laughs> didn't look like Jessica Alba. Colin, I can't believe you didn't like this movie. It cracks me up every time I watch. Hilarious. Yeah, I I, I can believe. Oh, I that absolutely Colin did believe. Not yeah, like this movie. I absolutely I believe. believe. One hundred percent. Yeah. That he did not. I was not I at all surprised. Record. Uh, Gary Fruenholds says I just listened to this episode on the way home, and the whole about the that was it climax bit the dvd has an alternate scene alternative ending 
It's been years since I've seen it, but I believe it took place at the school's pool. Jessica Alba was on the high dive board and the water turned into a fiery portal. It was much more epic. I don't know what happened to the other scene, but I didn't I didn't find the scene on YouTube, but it's probably out there. It is. It's on the, the bonus features of the DVD. So you saw this. I have not seen it. That's why I didn't talk about it, because I, I didn't actually watch it. Does it actually exist? Because I looked exist. around, and I found the one that's on YouTube, which is a work print ending, which yeah. basically has more of uh, the two stoner dudes like going up the stairs to heaven and yeah. coming back down and stuff. I think all that stuff got cut out. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's more to it. I'm not sure where to find I think it's on bonus features, but I have not seen it. Okay. Yeah. Travis Legler says, fuck it, we're going to do it live. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we'll I just live. started laughing. I love Colin's goofy zingers. I was driving to work and heard him say that, and it just made the drive better. Yes. I, I, I got it, Colin. I like the way that I finally, <laughs> after all this time, 300 some episodes, have a fan club. Uh, <laughs> Rockstar Miranda says, this movie is hilarious. Talking yeah. About idle hands. Yep. Novato Judoka says, I'll say Harold and Kumar go to White Castle is a great stoner comedy, diverse and clever, especially for the time. And of course, Fred Willard is in it as well. He is. And that that put Neil Patrick Harris on the map again. <laughs> That's right. Right. Uh Yojimbo Ice seems to like our shout out to the Attic Expeditions. He says, with Jeffrey Combs oh, and yeah. Alice Cooper, and yes, a surprising performance from Seth Green. I rented this one, watched it three times, and then have somehow struggled to remember it. Someone has to bring this to the freak show. <laughs> I've, you mentioned it, and I've been uh, wanting to like go back and watch it. The Attic Expeditions, because you mentioned it. And because but Seth I, Green I have not yet plays Jeff, Jeff Goldblum. If you watch yes. it with that in mind, I will. you cannot... <laughs> see it <laughs> but i have not yet uh <coughs> pardon me about our uh review of carnosaur jwac says have you guys ever read read corman's by bi- roger corman's biography crab monsters teenage cavemen and candy striped nurses nope. it's nope. really cool insight into his work how he jumped from the latest film fads of the time and also about how many future recognized directors he gave a start to it's really sad that his old methods don't seem to work anymore no, I might wait till, uh, and this may be unfortunate, until uh, he dies, and then I'll read his biography. All right. Well, we're watching a lot of his movies, and we're we listening are, to a lot so of commentary We'll, we'll give that and, commentary yeah. until then, but then as far as reading books, when he dies, I'll read his book. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like the, the, the part of Roger Corman's career that I'm probably the least familiar with is like when he was considered a good filmmaker right he was making we don't want those that. edgar Allan poe nah. movies from the 1960s no, well you're saying no they're actually pretty good with the vincent I'm, price i'm sure and, they yeah. are yeah it's fine but we know him now as exploitation king sure that's roger corman that's, that's what, what we, want. we want from him yeah well about our episode on circle of iron oh it's going back jason harding really, it seems like such a deep cut now <laughs> i know yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. everything past two weeks deep cut yeah well, Jason Harding writes in and says, uh, pretty shallow interpretations of the philosophy and nice of you to find time to trash everyone in the movie. I'm not saying it's a classic by any means. It is what it is, but I know many of these words have stuck with me since I saw it 40 years ago. Wow. Okay. You have thoughts. You have thoughts, man. You have thoughts. Thanks That's for right. thanks for sharing your thoughts. You developed a philosophy based on that movie. Yeah. That was the movie that was based Damn. on the uh, philosophy of Bruce Lee. Yep. But starred David Carradine. Yep. As a blind. As a uh, blind flutist. Flautist. <laughs> as it were. Yeah. You'll and have to it go ended, back. It ended with Bruce Lee and with uh, uh, David Carradine as a blind flautist. Mm-hmm. That is how that movie ended. So there you go. Magic flute. There you go. So that brings us to the most exciting part of our episode. We're going to find out what everybody thought about the Sentinel, starting with Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier you said you had it, and had it. that was that was it. That was it. <laughs> okay. That was it. What'd you think of this movie, Sean? <laughs> I thought uh, I had a really good time watching the Sentinel tonight. Um, I had never heard of this movie before tonight. Um, but I had a really good time watching tonight. Burgess Meredith is great. Uh, I think he's God's gift to early seventies, eighties movies. <laughs> um, because we have, uh, obviously we have a good time watching him in it. Um, but I thought the story of this movie was like actually pretty good. Like, and I recognized it as like doing things before, like anything that was recognizable in the two thousands or 
beyond um, um, them doing it here was actually really good. I like all the actors in this. Uh, Chris Randon is doing very well with his mustache. Um, like I really, he's doing good. It's fantastic and his, and his mustache very, acting. And his really, turtlenecks, his really, turtlenecks really, really brings out the, very good. the mustache. Um, uh, Allison, who, who's the actress? Um, Christina Rain. She's doing very good. Like I like, I like this movie. It was it freaked me out when she like goes exploring the apartments, and she uh, she's only got the flashlight, and she finds her fucking dad. And the the door swings open, and he r- fucking runs out. And there's that 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 whole sequence, like fucking, it fucked me up. I'm just like, holy shit, this is some scary shit. Like this is the stuff that bothers me. Um, so I really like that. Um, I really liked where this movie went, how it started, where it went, um, the conclusion of it. Like it, it was, uh, it was a good movie. Like I'm very surprised that <laughs> this movie did what it did. Um, I would recommend the Sentinel. Um, th- this is a good, this is a good seventies movie. Um, I really liked it. I think it did some things that, uh, that, yeah, either you don't see today or it's done better than shit this Sunday. So I would recommend the Sentinel. I had a good time with it tonight. I would watch it again. There it is. Holly, what did you think of the Sentinel? Yeah, I I didn't I had no idea what to expect. No this idea, movie. No, no idea. idea I had this. no Very no preconceived Colin. ideas. I had nothing going into this. I was just like, we're watching I'm, the I'm Sentinel. Glad. That's all very, I know. I, glad. I know Michaela was like, oh, that'll be a fun one to do. I that's right. That's I all I nothing. heard was Michaela said, oh, she she had seen it. Like, <laughs> yeah, <"That'd be> fun. <laughs> I had no idea the, what was the, going the, into the this. Actors and actresses in this, I was just like, I like watching them do what they did in this movie. Yeah. I mean, starting out when we were watching the credits and I saw all the people in this movie, I was like, There's holy so shit. There's so many people in this movie. There's so many people in this movie. I, Eli Wallach, uh, just everybody after that, I was just like, wow, yeah. I'm very surprised. Yeah. Love it. Um, the, the beginning of this movie, it, it took a while to get into things. I wasn't really sure where it was going. Um, it does have a bit of a slow start, but it but it doesn't... It's not boring. It's just no, a bit of a slow start. I was start. never bored. Yeah. Um so I was I wasn't sure where where we were going with it. And honestly, like at no point during this movie did I know where we were going with it. Like the no. whole movie I was like I don't know where this shit is going. This is insane. Um I there was a couple like we said there was a couple moments where like I jokingly guessed what was happening. I was like, you "Oh, did. I was right." I thought you knew what was going <laughs> I on. I didn't know. I really did thought you knew what was going on. I had no idea, but I was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> Fun. You did well. We haven't lived here in 25 years. <laughs> yeah. And it really was. It's it like, really was. No people around yeah. this house. I was like, shut up. She's saying it word for word. <laughs> she really was. <laughs> she was. Um, but yeah, like I didn't really I did not expect anything that happened in this movie. Like the 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 creepiness, the uncomfortable moments, it was all shocking. And it was yeah. Wonderfully shocking. Yeah, it was, good. It, was yeah. it was fun. You know, yeah, I like being surprised with this. Yes, movie. I I loved being it's surprised nice. by this movie. There was there was just the, the attack scene on her quote unquote yes. father when he the, comes in that like stabbing him, getting yes. him in the arm, the chest slicing off his nose. Yes, like that, that was whole... cool. I'm just like yes. I believe after yes. he fell on the ground, she ran away. I'm just like, I fucking love this movie because it was done so well. Yes. You it did was, say that. I think it at that point, you're like, it was because it was done yeah. well. Like not only that, I think the music, the music is what backed it up in this. Yeah. The effects and just like, it was done very well. Yes. I'm just like, I like what they're doing. I love this movie. And that, mo- that the creepy moment that we were talking about that. Oh my God. It was, it was just so unsettling and so unnerving. And then to have, that creepiness followed up by that gory moment where she slices him up. I was like, Oh my God, I was yeah. not expecting any of this. Yeah, it was unexpected. It really was, but it was delightful. It was and good. you know, the fact that it, it kept giving us moments like that, you know, the moment with her, with her dad in bed with the, the naked women eating yeah. the cake. Like it was, that was unsettling. That as was hell. surprising. It was surprising. That and was unsettling. the moment that this movie became surprising. Yes. Like nothing, uh, 
like that had happened before. Yes. So when we get into that, we're just like, oh shit. All right. And that and exactly that's exactly what gets us into these movies is when right. there's these weird, like, oh, where creepy else are we gonna moments. go? If that's like, gonna happen, where else can we go? Yes. That's how I like to be surprised. That's how yes. I like to be shocked. It doesn't have to be, you know, By naked old yes. man orgies. That is how <laughs> I like to be surprised as well. I don't know about you, but I like that. I mean, god damn it. That's the kind of surprise I like in my Friday nights, yes, right? Exactly. That's what I want. Yes. So yeah, uh, ever yeah, all the mo- all the moments that this movie delivered, they were on point. Like it was creepy, it was it was weird, it was shocking in an all the best ways. We I had like being surprised we, by yes. movies from the 70s. We had so I much really fun do. with this. I get Where so Where they can n- just get me and yes. just like fuck. I get did it. so nervous when Love we it. when we watch movies from the 70s. I'm like, I oh, don't want to be bored. No. I want to like it and, and they do it and it's just like Yes. Ah. Yeah, when they deliver, job. it's so satisfying. It I was like, this satisfying. movie still works. It's After all these years, it still works. And, you know, I was a little... And I was very unnerved by the end with the people that had actual deformities. And it made yeah, me... It that, made me that's very... That's always unnerving. It made me very uncomfortable. And I'm like, I understand why there was such a fuss back in the sure. day. And I truly hope that these people had a good experience making this. Right. We want to make sure that yes. everyone involved in that part of I it... I really just hope... Like, we don't want to yeah. exploit those people. We want to make sure they knew what they were doing. I really hope that so, they had a good experience making this. Yes, but it was so. effective. It yes, really was. Very it, much. It, very it, very much. It gave an element to this Big movie that I, yes, it made an element to this movie that I was not expecting. And again, no. the the shocking moments in this movie is what makes it fantastic. And I had so much fun. I think we all really enjoyed it, yes. like way more than we thought we would. We, yeah, but, way more. Yeah. yeah, I I liked it. I loved it. The Sentinel was so much fun. I highly recommend it. Definitely watch it. Colin. What did you think of the set? Well, I'm surprised it went over as well as it did. Colin is always, <laughs> Colin is always very surprised that in the movie he picks yeah, yeah, yeah. went well. I always yeah. come in going like, I really like this, but like, and then it, yeah, it, no, it may or may good. not play. Um, but I knew this one. It, it's you know those. There's a collection of scenes. The 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 uh, the old man orgy. The <laughs> the the enthusiastic masturbation. Oh the, my god! The the creepy yeah. the the moment where the the haunted father and the end. It's yeah. like those are the moments that this movie kind of hinges on. I have some logic problems with this movie. <laughs> you know, just sure. basically going like, you know, I I don't understand. I, I guess and some pacing, you know, problems because yeah. I realize that, uh, and I think I we were talking about them where it seems like we need to. You could cut like <clears throat> ten minutes out of this movie and close up the gap at the ending when you were building that momentum toward the climax. Yeah. So just keep going instead of like diffusing it and then having to build back up to it. You know, with Chris Sarandon like, no, I, I have to take care of this. What are right. you talking about? What are you, What are you gonna do? You're gonna leave her with your friend? Just yeah, to make sure she's right. in danger tonight. Don't leave her alone. I have right. to go take care of something. What does he have to take care of? For in my mind, and I had seen this before. In my mind, it still doesn't really make sense. I thought no. maybe he was going to go burn the place down. Yeah, sure. but you, yeah, he, that's not what he's doing. He's just going there to yeah. uh, uh, talk to the priest or something. And it was just like it doesn't really make sense. If he would have no. went in with gas cans and then ended up like being part of the thing, I think that's how I would change the movie to make yeah, it. Yeah, and I would have built sure. up like her uh, religious. Um, kind of come to Jesus moment because I don't think it landed at the end of the movie, and I think that's maybe the movie's biggest problem. The end is a bunch of scenes that are supposed to represent, you know, what we've been talking about, but you don't actually. I I don't think you feel it. I don't think it landed. I don't think the movie sold it. Uh, that being said, it is. Uh, oh, and also I think a, a criticism of the movie is um that it does now and probably did to the audiences of 1977 feel like it was kind of uh, the greatest hits of other, you know, because you had Rosemary's baby and you had the exorcist right. and you realized uh, in the yeah. omen. And you definitely feel those influences in this. Yeah. You really do. They're heavy. Yeah. yeah. So that's why it doesn't feel a hundred percent original. It's right. like, it's no. recycled. Yeah. It's a new angle on something that you've already seen. And that's probably why it, it's not standing out as a classic yeah, of sure. the horror genre. Um, that being said, you know, <laughs> I mean, this movie works fairly well. Uh, mm-hmm. it, it's ex- executed with a kind of a gonzo, uh, you know, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe this is, uh, this is why I want to see death wish three, right. <laughs> Which is apparently right. Michael winter, like unleashed. 
Right. Um, because Death Wish, the first Death Wish is a pretty restrained, like legitimate movie. You know, I mean, it's not as crazy as I guess I thought it was going to be. It's right. a very low key drama. Right. You know, um, but apparently the third one is what you expect Death Wish <laughs> to be. <laughs> the first uh, one gives you like <laughs> stakes you believe in. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a more human kind of right. you know, thing. And it was yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, are you looking up other Michael Winter movies? Oh, okay, I was going to say there's something else. I think maybe he did the White Buffalo with Charles Bronson, the, you know, uh, yeah. uh, but I'm not sure. Um, I would recommend the Sentinel. I think it is probably one of the like bigger and by bigger, I mean like uh well mounted, uh, well cast, uh, Hollywood well studio cast. horror like, they movies. did well. Yeah. Of that movie. era, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, um, and so I think, yeah, you, sh- you owe it to yourself to check it out. Um, it is available now. I think shout factory, of course, who's putting out like everything. <laughs> uh that is of note uh did a, a blu-ray of it oh nice uh you should uh you should check out the sentinel i don't know what happened to christina Ray. well i know she was in uh nightmares obviously after that i think she did a lot of tv and then she retired mm. uh from acting i would watch more of her yeah so the sentinel you should check this movie you out should it's, watch uh, this movie. if you're yeah. a horror fan and you haven't seen it then uh you should you should put it on the priority yeah. list watch yeah. it yeah I mean, if if Bravo or I'm sorry, if it was Bravo, Bravo had the hundred scariest moments, right? I think so. Yeah, Bravo did a well, lot they, of that. They shit. teamed up with AFI. Right? Yes. It was at the yeah, yeah. But they, Bravo, so this yeah, movie, but, they did a lot. but that's yeah. the thing. I mean, you know, we were talking about like, does it have a good reputation now? I don't really hear a whole lot of people. The no, fact I don't that you think, guys I don't think didn't it does. know what it was. Means it definitely that this does movie not is, have a reputation now. But yeah, it, but it made should. the Bravo 100 scariest yeah. movie moments. Yeah. I think that's earned. Uh, Definitely. it's a, it's a, it's a good, I think it's a good movie. Yeah. I think so too. Yes. Yeah. You know? it, it really, it really is. When you get down to it, uh, despite everything else, it's a good movie. Yeah. Yeah. Like it, I liked yeah, it. it's a good movie. Okay. Well, that's it. Then there it you is. should see the Sentinel. I that's think so. a Saturday night freak show approved. Yep. Yep. Uh, I think Michaela would, would agree. I think so too. I, I think, think she did. Yeah. yeah. I think she she'd does, like this yeah. movie. Yeah. 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 Uh, so that, uh, means next week we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by Sean. There it is. The what sequel are we watching next week? Oh, well, uh, we're not in summer no. anymore. This could be anything. I it was is. kidding. I was uh, kidding. Could be anything. We're going to watch the most dangerous movie ever made. We're going to watch Roar. What? What? You don't know? What? Oh, we're watching Roar. <laughs> next week. I Colin know what knows what he's talking oh, about. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're watching Roar. It is probably the most dangerous The most movie. dangerous <laughs> movie ever made. <laughs> We're For the people Roar. involved in it, yeah. Oh, is this the Roar. one? Oh, oh, I know what yeah. this is. I know what this is. <laughs> the, lions. the lions. Yeah, yeah, the lions. I know what this is. Yeah, yeah we okay. are. Oh my god, that's it's next like a, week. A crazy, Stop. crazy Disney movie. Yeah, I mean, the movie's not that crazy, but like just realizing <laughs> just what went into it is right. like yeah. Jesus Christ. No, it's yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. We're watching Roar. Oh okay, my god. all right. That's next week. 